Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's subject, or today's title of the video is Right Under Your Nose. Now, I'm not talking about a moustache, I'm not talking about your mouth, I'm talking about stuff that is around us, that is right under our noses. This is my apartment uh, building. Um, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go from here to a favorite restaurant of mine. I'm going to walk there and I'm going to take shots of things that I find appealing, stuff that I don't normally notice. A bit like William Eggleston. Google him if you don't know William Eggleston. He's done a lot of strange stuff, shall we say strange. Oh, something's coming by. Listen to that. Anyway, okay, let's get going. It's just you, me, and the GR3. Let's go. I'm going to start with the view that I, you know, I walk underneath this thing every day and I didn't notice that this is like some big metal paper airplane, isn't it? So I'm going to take a view up at my apartment block. Just like that. There we go. First shot of the day, very important when you go shooting. Get out, take, get your camera out and start shooting. Don't keep your camera in the bag. Building is on the corner of my block. And obviously they're doing renovation work. And they've been busy with this for a long time, months, months. I don't know what they're doing, but months. So I think this is a, this is a, this texture of this covering could make for a good shot. And this lantern here, this, this lantern. Just getting the stuff that I don't normally take. <laughs> and around here, the control box for the speed camera. You can see what people think of the, the speed camera, can't you? Based on that. A load of like electrical boxes at the side of the street just like this and I'm gonna get some get some shots of these life here in Taiwan is is quite cheap and people really don't look after themselves this is something I see pretty often. Instead of having a light on the back of the bicycle, they decide just to put some, uh, put some CDs or DVDs. They seem to think that that's gonna save their lives, you know, at night. This apartment complex has some beautiful gates. I think I'll do that in black and white later. I like the colors of this, uh, of this window. And they have a circuit breaker outside. Just what you want. Here we have a lot of um, contrast. So I'm going to try switching to uh, a different mode here. I like the way the line comes down to the corner here of the frame. sure exactly how much you can see of that because of the bar in front of the uh, there was a bar in front of the camera wasn't there an old building with a new car this is the market scene here let's go through the market Oh, 
A sliver of light here. Might be good. One of the challenges with this kind of photography is to isolate a subject because it's so cluttered, there's so much stuff going on. You know, it's so difficult. Um, here, I like the way the the um, awnings come down and it kind of points towards the center of the market over there. Road's blocked. <laughs> The road is blocked, can't get through. Just a simple grate like this, I don't know what that thing is there, but yeah. garbage holders this thing used to be used to be a Vespa but now it's just a fence <laughs> isn't it just a fence look I suppose someone could restore it, couldn't they, if they, uh, if they saw fit, you know? Okay, so thanks for watching to the end of the video. This is the bonus, okay? I'm going to show you how I developed this image using Photolab 5 and then some of the Nick collection. Okay, so um, straight off, it's not a bad looking image. Um, I think it needs a little bit more... Um, definition so I like to use this clear view, clear view plus that really helps a lot and then I'll turn on the contrast and add, it adds a little bit of uh, micro contrast there so the image is not looking bad I don't like the distortion how the window is distorted maybe it's the angle maybe it's the window itself but I think it would be better if it was straighter so I'm going to go into Nick collection and I'm going to use perspective effects and this helps to straighten everything up. Just a second while it loads. There we go. So we're, in, we're inside of perspective effects now. And I can just click auto to see what auto does. Oh, and that's not bad. I mean, straight away, we've got an image that is much, much straighter. I think I'm happy with that the way it is, just on auto. If I wanted to be more precise, I could take this, this tool here and then draw around the um, corners of the window frame here like this. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. And then click preview. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one, apply. So that's straightened it even more, I think. 
So now I'm going to go back to Photo Lab 5 and continue. So for that, I just need to click File and Save. Click OK. Of course, now we're working it in a TIFF file. We don't overwrite the uh, original DNG file from the uh, GR3. That's done, so I can close this. And if I go back now, here is the here is the file that just came from uh, Perspective Effects. So I like it, but it's a little bit distracting. I don't like some of these some of these things. You know, and as artists, it's okay for us to remove these things. We don't have to keep them in our photos. So I'll just show you how powerful the uh, the tool is here to remove things. Let me just zoom in a bit so we can see. Okay, so now I can just paint out stuff that I don't want. Don't want that white thing there. Don't want these things here. These white ones are a bit too big. Paint them out. And I don't like this stuff at the bottom. So I'm going to paint this out here. And this one here. And it's put an extra crack. Let me just get rid of that. He says, yeah, OK, that's not bad. A few extra things here that I don't like. And maybe those ones there. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. And zoom in a bit more. Sometimes these things just catch the eye and, and we have to be careful that uh, you know, there's not too many distractions. And an image like this, because this is like a very simple composition. There's not much to it. Again, I don't like this part up here that's um, at the corner, so I shall, I shall take that away. Make the tool a bit bigger now. Just paint down here like this. There we go. Mm. For those of you who are wondering why, why I'm using Photo Lab 5 instead of Lightroom, well, I'll just find that it's got some features that I like better. I like the way it produces the colors. I like this tool. This tool's really good. Okay. Let's just go back out to the hundred percent so I can see All right, I think I just want to crop it a bit a little bit too much space at the top and the bottom so use the crop tool which is R on the keyboard and just bring it actually I'm gonna not constrain it I don't want it to be the original we don't have to have always the original you know the original um, aspect ratio we can change it suit ourselves Like with a picture frame, it's better to have a little bit more at the bottom than the top. So I quite like that like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, with that, I'm just going to leave it here. Guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please like this video. It means a lot to me. Bye bye.